Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradeep. So in my previous video I discuss question number 1 to question number 5 of the assignment 8 of this course database management system with the explanation. Now if you not watch this video then you first watch that video then you come in this video. So in this video I will discuss question number 6 to question number 10 with the explanation. So question number 6 Now consider the following state of transactions and the statement below. So this is the transaction which is given. Now, before doing this question, you have to know some concept. That is, any transaction that committed before the last checkpoint should be ignored. Now, in this diagram, you can clearly see that the last checkpoint is TC, right? So this is the checkpoint. Now, which transaction is committed before this checkpoint? This transaction T1. so that means this t1 transaction can be ignored because it committed before this last checkpoint now condition number 2 that any transactions that committed since the last checkpoint need to be redone so which transactions committed after this checkpoint that is transaction t2 and the transaction t3 so we can say that this t2 transaction and this t3 transaction is needed to be redone now condition 3 is any transaction that was running at the time of failure is needs to be undone and restarted so you can clearly see that here transaction t4 was running on at the time of the system failure so we can say that this t4 transaction is needed to be undone so this was the concepts you have to know before doing this question now if you see question number 6 then you can clearly do this question now you need to first find out what is the last checkpoint so in question number 6 the last checkpoint is checkpoint 2 now those transactions that committed before this checkpoint 2 can be ignored now this transaction t1 and the transaction t2 was committed before this checkpoint 2 so you can say that the t1 transaction and this t2 transaction can be ignored so option 3 will be correct now if you watch carefully then you can see that the t3 transaction and the t4 transactions are committed after the checkpoint 2 so you can say that the transaction t3 and the transaction t4 need to be redone that is option 5 now if you notice transaction t5 and the transaction t6 then you can see that the transaction t5 and t6 are running on at the time of the system failure so this transaction t5 and the transaction t6 needs to be undone and restarted that is given in option number 2 so option number 2 option number 3 and option number 5 will be the correct answers for question number 6 and that is given in option d that is 2 3 5 so it is the correct answer now coming to question number 7 consider the following relational schema so this is the schema which is given now four relational algebra queries are given below as q1 q2 q3 and q4 now we have to identify the correct options from the options given below now if you can notice the q1 queries then you can see that this q1 filters record before the projection now only the records with the start date 11 20 23 are selected before the projection now if you notice q2 then you see that q2 does not filter records but selects only start date and the name okay so q1 and q2 are not equivalent because q1 filters some records before the projection but q2 does not filter any records now if you see q3 and q4 both are returning the attribute name after performing the natural join now a question might arise in your mind that in case of q3 natural join is directly given but in case of q4 there is no natural join is given but you have to remember that selection plus cartesian join will be equivalent to the natural join now here selection is there and with that the cartesian product is there so that's why it is equivalent to the natural join so q3 and q4 will be equivalent now option b is q1 is not equivalent to q2 and option c is q3 is equivalent to q4 so b and c will be the answer of question number 7 now coming to question number 8 consider the following relational schema these are the schema now a relational algebra expression is given below now we have to identify the most optimized relational algebra expression equivalent to the above relational algebra expression see here the projection of e1 join e2 will be equivalent to the projection of e1 join the projection of e2 now here the projection of join instructor job assignment and course is given right the projection of these three join are given uh, the original relational expression will be equivalent to the option c that is the projection of instructor join job assignment it is joined with the projection of course so option c will be the most optimized relational algebra expression equivalent to this above expression so option c will be the correct answer for question number 8
now coming to question number 9 consider the following two relational algebra expression given below so this is expression 1 and this is expression 2 now where p q and r are relational algebra expression now we have to identify the correct statement from the following now if you notice that then you see that the projection of u1 union e2 will be equivalent to the projection of u1 union the projection of e2 so here the projection of p and q union will be equivalent to the projection of p union the projection of q so the statement 1 is correct or you can say the statement 1 is true and if you see expression 2 then r1 join r2 now uh, this is in bracket with join r3 will be equivalent to r1 join r2 join r3 okay so that means here p join q with that if we join r then it will be equal to p join in bracket q join r so both the r1 and the r2 are true that is option a now coming to question number 10 consider the log record of transaction t1 with two operation instances 1 and 2 used in recovery system with early log release b plus tree based concurrency control so the answer of this question will be option d okay so submit the answer thank you for watching this video if you get some help from this video then please subscribe my channel thank you